If blade and sorcery is too violent for you or a loved one, this is the perfect mod for you. What's up guys, PyPop101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you the perfect mod if violence and gore isn't exactly what you're looking for. The beginner's arsenal. So let's get started. Basically has over 40 wooden weapons, which don't allow you to pierce or dismember. They just let you have a good time. And if we even start these waves, notice it's a fair fight, clean and non-lethal. So why don't we go forth and check all these weapons out? First off, we have the shield right here, which, I don't know, it's it's a pretty good looking shield. Does what it needs to do. And why don't we get the axe to start? Now, I really like the fact that this comes with its own set of waves. You can practice, you can fight. Notice, you can hit enemies, yeah, there's a little bit of blood, but there's no more dismembering, no extreme gore, and I'm really happy to try and play this mod. Because really, they're all just blunt. Especially for family members or people that don't like as much of the blood. I'd say this is probably the perfect mod for you. Especially for those of you that want to try and practice your fighting skills with a ton of different kinds of weapons. There's so many, like we have the shield, the axe, we have a staff right there. Let's spawn in our dagger and why don't we put this axe on our back for now. Let's say this guy is attacking us, well, we can of course block and parry his attacks, can use a couple different grips on these weapons that make it a lot of fun. And notice, this is my first time trying to pierce, we obviously can't because, well, it's a wooden weapon, it's a dagger. Now of course if you want a bigger weapon, something similar to the size of this mall right here, and you obviously don't want it to dismember, all you need to do is just block their attacks and bonk them a couple of times. Now, of course, there's mods that can remove blood and gore entirely, so I'd highly recommend you check those out as well. But, for now, this is this suits our purposes. I mean, come on. We get a double axe right here. This is still pretty dope, regardless. Even though there's no slicing, no dismemberment, it does exactly what we want it to, and it's great for practice. So let's check out this dual training staff. Now this is just like one of the base game weapons for Blade and Sorcery, the dual staff which lets you pierce and slash with both ends, but this one is obviously a little bit different, well, because you can't pierce or slash, all you can do is attack, and I find this one to be a lot of fun actually, and this is really great practice too, come on pal. Ha. And I'm looking forward to trying out that katana next. First off, we have this little dwarf axe, so it's like the blacksmith's hammer that we have, although slightly longer. Come on, now let's see what you got. Come on. <laughs> and of course, you can still bonk them quite a few times. Because let's face it, regardless of what happens, this is still a blade sorcery. They're still fighting. But then again, it's a lot less gory than it was before. Ooh, I like this one. You guys know the base game Falcon. So. And, I mean, we can obviously still chuck these. Huh, it's kind of weird it went through her, but, you know. Ooh, now look at this. Oh, lady, come on. I got my own, too. <laughs> you know what? You can have them both. Oh, come on. That was enough to knock her over. Lame. Now, I do really like this one, too, because this is one of my favorite weapons to use, especially in the Beam Sabers mod, the Glaive Lightsaber. So this is a lot of great practice right here, especially because it deals less damage. And I'm able to actually practice a lot more with it, including things like sweeping the enemy's legs and things like that. And of course, we can still obviously grab enemies and chuck them. I do really like this great sword too, because as you guys can tell, the sizing is very, very similar. Oh, I guess she wants to fight. Come on, baby, let's see what you've got. Ha! This is also a great mod if you want to practice fighting against all their different animations, because these. NPCs just keep getting more and more, which makes this game a lot more fun and combat a lot more versatile than it always was. Maybe I'm just going to edit that part out a little bit later. <laughs> and how do you, it is, I guess, a bit smaller than I'd like the head of it, but, you know, it gets the job done. Oh, 
Oh, lady, you want to fight? Here, hold that for me. Okay, so it's like a uh, bongos. Little sticks to play the bongos. All right, come on. Oh, you have one too. Ooh, okay. Now I feel like I'm in Sword Art Online or all the animes where you practice your sword skills. Ooh. So this is like I'm really practicing my sword skills with this guy right here. So you got, lady? Come on. This is live fighting, you guys. I am... I've been practicing making all these videos for you. I've gotten a whole lot better fighting with all these different animations. You guys can get a ton better too. All it takes is practice. And as long as the physics are set to high, where the colliders don't accidentally cross through each other, you guys will be fine. All right, lady, I've had enough of you. You can stay down. Oh, looks like it's time for the long sword. All right, pal. I wonder if we can half sword. Oh, we can. That's pretty cool. And I like that there's a training mace and a moon. Okay, that's a bit interesting. It's a couple different sizes right here. Come on, pal. Nice. Right, let's see what you got, my friend. I think not. And he's down for the count. See what else we got. Ooh, a training rapier. I like this one. Un god, un god. Ah. Oh, she don't she don't know which way I'm gonna go. Come on, lady. Fine, I'll hold it back. You can come at me. Come on. Ha. Oh, this this one is <laughs> More for scoring points. That's it. Well, it looks like we're getting into some of the really fancy ones like this guy right here. You know what? <laughs> I don't even think this is fair. Oh, and we have a... I don't need that. Hey, pal. So let's check out this reverse dagger. I don't really think this is super necessary because, I mean, of course, we can change the grip. Really? And we can always, you know, just uh, fight and chuck it at him. One thing I am kind of curious about is, okay, so this is a pretty long sight. And honestly, I really like this too. I know, especially for my Hedon sight, which is a triple-bladed sight, this will make it a lot better if I'm going to practice, too. So I really like this one. Here we go, lady. And a training spear, so a single version of the one we saw before. <laughs> oh, and we got her good. A training stupid big hammer. All right, I mean... If, if that's what you really want to use, sure. It's a bit of a weird name, but I, I guess it's uh, the truth. Because it is a pretty stupid big hammer. How about we fight an enemy with a bit of a larger weapon? So come on. Come on, pal. I'll even hold it up for you. You can get close. Come on. Oh, you too, lady? Oh, you have the longest one yet. All right, come on. All right, we have a normal training sword. I'm sure I can fight you without issue. Come on. 
see what you got. Oh, I've been practicing. No way you can even land a hit on me. Seems like some of these weapons need to, I guess, have their colliders adjusted a little bit. But aside from that, they are pretty good. Ah, uh, and a throwing knife. Alright, I kind of like this. Practice, like, throwing your daggers. Come on, pal. Yeah, it's all I got. I only have two of them. Ooh. Yeah, it is what it is. You guys are going to have to practice with that. Okay, now I'm looking forward to the taunt foot. <laughs> These are super cool. They're probably one of my favorites because you can use them for both offense and defense. And hopefully these will have a secondary grip. Yeah, so you can grab them from the bottom too. And you know, if enemies get on your nerves, just bonk them a few times. Training Warhammer. Now this guy's pretty long too. I wish some of the heads of these weapons were a tad bigger, but aside from that, they get the job done. The war pick? These are pretty good for climbing too, so yeah, we can fight, but let's say I want to get up here. Can I even grab? Oh, I can grab this little ledge. So let's see. Can I grab this ledge right here? Seems like I can, and I can pull myself up too. Very cool. And of course, these are also very good block weapons. And what is this? Okay, so it's like a katana, but with no real handle. Okay, so it's similar to the weapon you have. I think not. Come at me. Uh, how about we get you away from the table? Come here. Oh, she's got nothing on us, guys. Come on, one more. Yeah, I'll go lefty. <laughs> Bam. That's when I'd normally stab them, but, you know, wooden weapon. Can't really stab with it. What we can do is check out this next one where we have our wooden sword. I guess this one is more like a katana, looking at the top of the blade, but... Come on, let's go lefty. Did you really... Come on. Did you really need to die from falling over? Here we go. Here we go, lady. I will block whatever you throw at me. Easy. Easy. What is this? Okay, so a uh, kind of a... Alright. Oh yeah, that... Brutal. A little too brutal, but it gets the job done. And here's our real training katana. All right, you get you get a real left hand action, pal. You know what? You're getting on my nerves. You even landed a hit. Okay. Oh, he got me, guys. <laughs> I don't know why he jumped over it like that, but all right. A training kunai so we can practice being a shinobi. And of course we can still chuck these. I don't really like throwing things in this game, but... I think the handle starts off in the wrong grip with this one. But regardless, you guys get the idea. It's a very nice axe. Or dual-headed axe. And this is... Ooh, I like this one. Hold on. Can you... Fine, you can leave. Wow. Okay, so we have a long handle right here and a little blade at the end. So like one of the other previous weapons. That's it. And then if it was a blade, 
You have no head. Oh, Ninjato. Okay, so basically, a single-handed sword. Oh, nice block if I do say so myself. Oh, come on. Did you really need to pull out the little baby weapon? Just stay down, pal. Oh, man, he keeps getting up. All right, now the Odachi. Okay, so this is the longer katana, I assume. Dude, you're you're really tough. Oh, this one doesn't have a secondary handle. Okay, so I'm guessing that's probably a mistake. So there's probably a couple of things that could be fixed with this mod, but I don't know. It's still pretty cool. And I do kind of like that the blood shows up on the weapons as well. Even though they're wooden. Because, I mean, you're still hitting an enemy, right? Oh, the training sickle. I missed. You guys get the idea. And we have two more. So the Tonto. Okay, like a short sword. So I'm going to pulsar that short sword. And we're going to take a second just to test these bad boys out. Yeah, I'd say that gets the job done. And can we grab the hand? Okay. I mean, we can grab the blade, but there's no actual handle on it. And last but not least, our final weapon that's part of this pack. Basically a short sword, which allows us to practice, like our common sword over there, that we start off with. So basically this one. Very similar in size. Come on, lady. You can even take my sword if you want to. Choose one. There you go. Okay, you want it to be a fair fight, do you? Oh, all right, you got me. I give you that. But you're not gonna get another hit? Don't test me. I'm trying to record a video for everybody. Can't, can't show them that I'm terrible at swords play. All right, I'm going hard now. Okay guys, so we have gone over every single weapon in this beginner's arsenal. So basically all these wooden weapons, 41 of these incredible weapons made by Mclip. So if you guys like this mod, you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.